Well, that is the prettiest sight I have seen in a long time. Hi. You well dressed and ready to come home. Well, <laughs> Daddy, you were right on. I was? Oh, yeah, sure I was. Now, what do you need your an apartment for? You got your own room at home with That's everything you need? That's not what I mean. Living at home is merely a temporary necessity. Yeah, now... I mean, you were right about uh, Bucky's family. Ah. Uh -huh. The Carters are hot stuff. They are creme de la creme. Oh, listen to that French. Rini, why don't you go back to school? This article is all about them. The Carters and the Buckminsters. That's Bucky's uh, mother's side of the family. What is that? It's that article you told me about. Uh, I had a messenger go over and pick up a back copy of the magazine. I charged him to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, this is it. It's a feature story on the whole family. Only they call it a dynasty. Mm-hmm. The Carters and the Buckminsters of Boston. And my cute doctor is a Buckminster Carter. Well, I told you his grandfather was very big in shoes. <laughs> Daddy, big in shoes. Bucky's grandfather, Henry Carter Sr., built up this incredible fortune from nothing during the Depression. I mean, they used to call him the Good Samaritan Bootmaker. I told you that. Yeah, but do you know why? Because he did nice things for people. Because he let working men buy shoes from him and they didn't have to pay him until later could afford to. Yeah, yeah, so what did I just say? You know... I think from the sound of him, I'm going to get along just fine with Henry Carter Sr. But it's, it's Henry Jr. and Diana, the, you know, they're Bucky's parents. I'm, I'm not quite sure of them. Look at this house. 27 oh, rooms. Well, I told you they had money. Oh, Daddy. I mean, it's not just money. It's called breeding. Right, look, Diana... Buckminster Carter, Bucky's mm, mother. Nice. The family sailboat, which requires a crew of six. <laughs> oh, and look, now I'm going to have to learn about dogs. Oh, the old lady uh, raises uh, Lapso, dogs. Lapso, Lapso, I don't know. Well, listen, girl's got to expand her interests, otherwise she becomes boring, right? I'll get you a couple of books on dogs. Fortunately, I'm an excellent swimmer already. So you'll make good use of this swimming pool. Well, I have to have some new bathing suits, though. You got it. Oh, what am I talking about? Well, what's the matter now? The Carters are, are not phony, idle, rich. They're good people. I can't get away with any of these tricks. Oh, Rainy, you don't need any tricks. You're a smart, well-brought-up girl. I'm not well-brought-up enough. Huh? Bucky's father goes into work every day to make sure still that the business is well-run. And honestly... And, and Bucky's mother, I mean, she spends all her spare time working with charity, carrying on in the tradition of Henry Sr. A commitment to their fellow man, the article stated. But what am I committed to? Nothing, nobody. Look, you're, uh, you're a kid. I don't understand what's troubling you so much. Look, Rini, I sent you to the best schools. You dress well. And you can certainly hold up your end of any conversation, and when you want to, you can behave yourself. I mean, you can deal with those people. I guess I can. Sure. I mean, maybe I could even carry off a very proper courtship with Dr. Buckminster Carter. <laughs> Man, he, he ain't got a chance. Only, I can just see it. Henry Sr., I'd like you to meet my father. Hiya, Henry, an honor to meet such a big man in shoes. Daddy, how would you like to trip, take a trip around the world? This week on General Hospital. Jake suffered a catastrophic head injury. 
He's gone. No, no. As a family grieves. I'm Jake Weber's real father, and I barely knew him. The search for the killer begins. What kind of a person hits a little kid and keeps on going? We found the driver of the car. Oh, no, this is crazy. Now, only one question matters. Who hit my son? General Hospital. Weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on SoapNet. You know how it is. You look in the mirror one day and you go, how am I going to lose this weight? E-Diet's meal delivery from eDiets.com. It's the easiest, smartest, most delicious way to eat great and finally lose the weight. I know you're thinking, eat great and lose weight? Really? Really. You'll love the food. There's no MSG, no fake sugars. The food tastes fantastic. It's awesome. Very delicious. It tastes wonderful. Call now or go to eDiets.com. Choose from over 100 fresh prepared meals. Not dehydrated diet food, but really delicious food. eDiets will deliver your favorite meals and snacks in a chill, fresh container. All you have to do is relax, enjoy, and eat great all the way to slim. I lost 115 pounds. 65 pounds. 25 pounds. 94 pounds. Along the way, eDiets.com gives you real support. Terrific online tools, access to registered dietitians and trainers, and friends who care about your success. They're there with you to hold your hand, and they really care. Truthfully, I like everything about eDiet. I've lost 30 pounds. All of a sudden, I find myself a changed person. Hey, I made it to 50 pounds, and look at me now, I'm 60 pounds. Millions of people have turned eDiets.com to lose the weight. Now it's your turn. Call or go to eDiets.com and sign up for seven full days of meals, three meals per day, fresh prepared just for you, plus snacks. So don't wait. Join eDiets. Eat great food and lose weight fast. I believe that eDiets can change people's lives. My husband will often say, you're the hot wife. That's just boosted my confidence a lot. eDiets has changed my life forever. Call to find out how you can get one week of meals absolutely free. That's right. One week of fresh prepared food. One week of weight loss. One week of success. Free. Free? What are you waiting for? Call or go online to get started now. Call 1-800-279-1604 or visit eDiets.com now. Since when does my daughter need an invitation? Oh, Mom. <laughs> oh. Hi. No mistake in that footstep. I've been hearing those feet come across these floors all your life, Mary. Oh, oh. he didn't. <laughs> oh, you haven't been here since the fight of the century. Oh, yes. God help us. Your father's gone into training. Oh, Ma, that's awful. Yes, it is. I'm afraid so. I don't know, Mary. I think... John is more upset about missing the first punch than Jack not missing it. They won't change, will they? I just don't know. I can't speak for Jack, darling. But I can't... I don't know him well enough for that. But I can't speak for your father. He's never going to change. He doesn't like Finelli now, and he never will. I don't think Jack will ever change either. You're walking a fine line between Jack and your father. I feel for you. I really do. Thanks, Mom. It was uh, good of Jack to let, uh, Jill to let you stay at her place last night, hmm? You understand why I didn't come home? Oh, I do. Ma, um, I'm gonna look for a place of my own. Yeah, it's probably past time, dear. But I'm gonna stay at Jill's for the next day or two because of Jack. Jill thinks he's not going to give up that easily, and she's right. Really needs you. Yeah, he does. Which isn't to say that's any good for either of us. He came by Channel R this morning and made such a scene. Ma, I told him every way I know that I don't want to talk it over, but he still doesn't believe me. Oh, I'm sorry, darling. Well, it's the first time I've really been in love. But it's the first time for him, too another kind of way. And it's hard to give that up. Mary here? Nope. You sure? 
Yes, I'm sure. If she hangs up on me whenever I call, so it's the only way I have look, to get a hold of her. she's not here, and this is my apartment, and I want you out. Look, Jill, I'm sorry. I gotta see Mary. I told you I don't know where she is. I came home to pick up some papers, and now I'm going, so come on. Would you mind if I waited? Yeah, I would. Look, look, I'd really appreciate it. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I mean, not with Mary, Mary, but her entire family. I mean, provoking Johnny Ryan every chance you get. Me provoking him? Yeah, and then hitting him. I mean, is that the way you endear yourself to the girl you say you love? He swung first. Oh, so that makes it all right? And I don't say I love her. I love her. And you've brought her nothing but heartache from the start. You know you ought to be shot for getting involved with a girl like Mary Ryan right, in the just, first place. Just hold and on. now you ought to be shot for not knowing when to call it quits. I mean, Jack, I thought you at least knew that much. I don't want to call it quits. We're not like that. We're not like anybody else. It's... It's Mary. Now, I gotta see her, Jill. Now, please let me wait. No. Come on. Come on, Jack. Out. Out. <laughs> I'm sorry, Daddy. What for? For dumping on you like that. Ah, oh, come on. Don't worry about it. Now, you're probably right. I start rubbing elbows with the Carters and the Buckminsters of Boston, I'll probably stick my foot in it. You're insulted. I told you, no, you're only telling the truth. And I don't have to take any trip around the world. Now, you start mixing with those people, I'll keep out of the way. Daddy, I didn't mean to put you down. Rene, you can depend on your old man. I only want what's best for you, and I wouldn't do anything to embarrass you. That's sweet, Daddy. I know who I am, Rene. And uh, I don't belong in grand ballrooms with crystal chandeliers. But that's just it. Bucky's family doesn't go for grand ballrooms and stuff like that. I mean, that is what is so special about his family. I mean, it's like the magazine article said, they have millions of dollars, but they still go in for simple pleasures. I mean, nothing showy. It's not like the friends that you had. The friends, uh, the friends I what? You know, your, your friends, those, those people. People. Yeah. Oh, you know. I mean, they flash their rings and their big furs and their big cars, and all the time, everybody knows exactly where they got it. Oh, yeah? Where, where's that? Daddy, don't make me say it, huh? No, really, come on. Where, where do you think they got it? Well, where did you get it? I mean, you didn't make all your money from the friendly neighborhood funeral home. No. Daddy, look, I'm not blaming you. I know that you have sidelines and other things that aren't strictly, oh, you know. Now, Ma, Rini, uh, Rini, just what is it do you think my business is? Hey, what's this, huh? Oh, God, <laughs> hey, how you doing? What, no brass band to escort you out of the hospital? You don't want to talk about it now, do you, Daddy? Oh, uh, no, 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 uh, it can wait. Oh, hey, look, I'm sorry. I'm interrupting something. No, no, it's all right. I was just on my way, Bucky. Uh, uh, Rini, I'll wait for you downstairs, okay? Yeah. Uh, take your time. <laughs> well, this is a revelation. Hmm. <laughs> I mean, you're a girl. <laughs> oh, well, I think I look pretty cute in my uh, nightgown. Oh, yeah, you did, but uh, this is... You like mm. it? It's my uh, new going-home outfit. You'll get the award. Best departure by a female patient from neurology. Oh, I'm glad you think so. I thought about you when I decided on it. Oh, come on. You know, you look terrific in everything you wear. Well, you'll just have to come around and see, won't you? Hmm? My pleasure. And just because... I'm all well. Doesn't mean that we have to be strangers. Or do you just flirt with uh, girls?
girls that are in need of your medical genius. Number one, I do not flirt. Oh, break, <clears throat> cad, heartbreaker. Number two, I'm not at all adverse to seeing young ladies who are in the best of health. What would you like to do? You mean it? Sure. You're not just being nice to me. No. Yeah, I mean, yes. Yeah, I am being nice to you, but that's because that's what I want to be. Because uh, I don't want you to do this if you feel I, you have to because... <laughs> I want to take you someplace, okay? Name it. Uh, how about Bobby Shaw at the Cafe Lino? Oh, well, actually, I don't go in for grand ballrooms and crystal chandeliers. I mean, you know, nothing showy. How about a beer somewhere? Really? Why not? Okay. Ryan's? Oh, that would be great. I've always loved Ryan's. Okay, then you're on. A beer for Ryan's. Super. <laughs> Sexy Bachelors. Oh, I like the sound of that. <laughs> are up for auction. He's hot. Just saying. This week. <laughs> it's you. We don't you see who's dating who. I'm not just bidding. I intend to win. Watch All My Children weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 8 on SoapNet. When you've been together as long as we have. Honey, where's the... Top shelf. Life can get a bit routine. That's why I decided to switch things up with Cottonelle Ultra Toilet Paper. Oh, yeah. You see? It's 35% thicker than the Northern brand. Love it. You might say this one little switch has made all the difference. Nina, get dressed. We're going dancing. <laughs> little switches can make all the difference. Find Cottonelle Ultra Codes, then see how you could win ultra prizes to make little switches in your life. <laughs> What have we here? Butterfinger Snackers. I've never heard of those. Oh, they're just the latest thing. Chocolatey little treats with a smooth Butterfinger Center. Mmm, I love Butterfinger. I think I'll try one. Ow! Mm -mm, I think you won't. Butterfinger Snackers. Crispy, chocolatey, bite-sized treats with a smooth Butterfinger Center. Nobody's gonna lay a finger on my Butterfinger Snackers. Talk show host Wendy Williams returns and Kourtney Kardashian guest stars on One Life to Live today on ABC and tonight at 9 on SoapNet. People are talking about General Hospital's Michael and Abby. Monette Lindbaum posted on Facebook, they are totally right for each other. And Bridget Poole cheers, yes, Team Abby and Michael. Tanya Boonshu Bernard adds, they are so hot. Lori Rogers Olsen sums it up, they are perfect for each other. People are talking about General Hospital weekdays on ABC and weeknights at 10 on SoapNet. One of the first things I heard when I came to Riverside Hospital was that there was an oasis across the street, a sanctuary called Fryan's. Ha! I never thought I'd need it as much as I do today. Well, it must be very difficult these days for you at the hospital. Well, you know, one of the toughest things is all the looks of sympathy. I feel that there's a, a lot of people over there who are on my side, but still, well, I've never been very good at taking sympathy. Oh, no, that's a special talent, to be able to take sympathy with grace. But I'm sure it's because everyone knows how serious this might be for you. We all want you to come out of this all right. I mean, you're important to us, Seneca. Thank you. You know, there's, there's a lot of gossip in the hospital. A lot of talk that uh, I can barely hear. So many members of the staff have been called before the grand jury that I guess it's, it's human for them to want to discuss it. But still, I'm afraid I lost my temper this morning. Over. A nurse and one of the residents I know were whispering outside the lab where I was waiting for the test results on a patient. Well, finally, I stuck my head through the door, and I, I said either speak up so I can hear or shut up so I'll lose interest. <laughs> of course, I apologize. But... You're a strong man, sir. Yeah, I better be. The uh, county medical society seems to be conducting their own inquiry. Oh, dear, it never rains but it pours. Yeah, well, at least here I'm out of the rain, out of the inquiries, away from the floods of sympathy. And you're most welcome. Thank you. Uh-oh, spoke too soon. Oh, Jill, can't you leave the poor man rest? I'm afraid not, Maeve, sorry. This part of it can wait, but I've got bad news. I just spoke to a friend of mine downtown. The grand jury? You've been indicted on a charge of first-degree murder. What does that mean? Are they going to arrest him? No, I'm going to try to avoid that kind of scene if I can. How? 
I want you to come down to court with me and surrender voluntarily. If we control it, then we can keep it all quiet and dignified. Now, look, you know I don't like hiding, Jill. Seneca, this isn't hiding. Now, there is a public announcement of the indictment. That means reporters, flashbulbs, press releases. And I do not want to go into this case with that kind of publicity. Mm. Mm, excuse me. And the last thing I want is, is a memory, the, the name of Mel turned into some kind of tabloid sensation. Seneca, first and foremost, your name and your life. Well, they seem to be in your hands, Counselor. Ours. Will you come down to court with me? Anything you say. Good. That was Pat. He's over at the hospital. A couple of policemen were by. Looking for you, Seneca. When? Just a moment ago. They're coming over here. Oh, I don't understand. I told Levine we would surrender voluntarily. I mean, I asked him specifically not to do this. Oh. Could be anything. No. No, I'm afraid not. They're going to arrest you, Seneca. Next, spend some time in Genoa City with the young and the restless. Later, see who's stirring up trouble in Pine Valley on All My Children. Only on SoapNet. It might be time to consider bankruptcy. Bankruptcy? This Wednesday on an all-new Being Erica. We do what we need to do to stay alive. Everyone has secrets. This is a big opportunity, Erica. Okay, what's the catch? The opportunity is confidential. Everyone has something to hide. I have a solution. Whatever it takes to win. But when everyone's out for themselves... You have to face reality. How can you even do this? Who can you trust? What the hell is going on? This isn't a game, Erica. Being Erica. All new this Wednesday at 11, only on SoapNet. Are you a 24-7 mom? Know someone who is? Go to estherc.com and enter the 24-7 mom contest. You could win a cruise, spa treatments, housekeeping. Enter at estherc.com. 24-7 moms deserve Esther C, the better vitamin C. Want to switch up your routine? Try Cottonelle Ultra Toilet Paper. It's 35% thicker than the Northern brand. Love it! It's that one little switch that'll make all the difference. Peanut, we're going dancing. Make the Ultra Switch. Find Cottonelle Ultra Codes for a chance to win Ultra Prizes. Special K Protein Shakes. A truly great tasting breakfast shake. With 10 grams of protein and 5 grams of fiber, it's the creamy, delicious way to satisfy your hunger to help you lose weight. So you can kick the tin can habit. Try Special K Protein Shakes today. We have our own way of thinking. We think sustainability is nothing new. We think justice is older than any government. We think we can grow radishes on the moon. We think education is for the mind and the spirit. We think Indian. Help tribal college students preserve their way of thinking. No one saw it coming. Jake! Jake's going straight to surgery. Come on, Jake. No one was prepared for this. Jake suffered a catastrophic head injury. He's gone. No. 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 He's gone. No. This week on General Hospital. A sorrow so great. I'm Jake Weber's real father, and I barely knew him. It goes beyond words. No tears. I'm so sorry. <laughs> As a family grieves. We're the ones with the hole left in our lives. The search for the killer begins. What kind of a person gets a little kid and keeps on going? We've compiled a list of suspects. What if I hit him? You know the drivers, don't you? What if it was me? I hit Jason's little boy? We found the driver of the car. Oh no, this is crazy. Now, only one question matters. Who hit my son? General Hospital, weekdays on ABC, weeknights on SoapNet. Mary, this is the only way I have to talk to you. Can't you take a hint? I don't want to see you. You don't have to. Just listen, please. Jack, all right, I'll be blunt. Beat it. Ten minutes, Mary. Take your hands off me. Don't I rate ten minutes? Don't ask me what you rate, sweetie, because that's a loaded question. 
People who knock my father down don't wait ten seconds with me. Come on. Look, a man swings at me, I swing back. It's a reflex action. I get a cinder in my eye, I blink. Mary, please. I'm going up the wall. Now, don't shut me out. Jack, not now. I'm sorry you're upset, but I do not want to see you. Why not? Because I'm afraid. I'm afraid I'll forgive you for it. And I don't want to forgive you. Not this time. I'm not asking for forgiveness, damn it. I won't even say I'm sorry. No, just let me in to talk to you. No! Mary, please! Well? I'm not in the mood for your tricks, Jack. Say what you have to say. You don't think I have any feelings? You think you're the only one that gets hurt when someone slams the door at you? You and your sensitive family? You're the injured parties all the time, right? You're the victims. I'm the villain. No matter what's said, no matter what's done, no matter what happens, it's always Jack did this to Mary. Jack did that to Mary's father. Jack did that to Mary's mother or Mary's life. Well, what about my life? What about my feelings? Everybody's allowed to be so sensitive but me. Yeah, throw Finelli against the wall. Hit him with a hammer. He's not breakable. Well, now's my turn to be a little breakable. Jack, I know. No, 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 no. I'm not so sure you do. I, I have never, never hung up on you, Mary. Never slammed a phone down in your ear, have I? No. And I've never thrown you out. Your waltz over all packed, ready to move in. Do I say sorry? I got a, got a hot column, a typewriter, come back in half an hour? No. No, I drop everything, because I figure you're in trouble. But, but you, you bounced me out of Channel R this morning. Jill bounced me out of here. I can't count how many times I've been asked, spoken and unspoken, to leave Ryan's. But that's all right, sure. I mean, it's only Finelli. I mean, he's only half human, right? I mean, he's a different breed. I mean, super tough, he doesn't feel a thing, hmm? It's not to get your brother Frank right from the beginning, right? Remember? Poor, innocent, defenseless Frank. And that snake Finelli, right? You found out different. Jack, that I think that was really too long ago to have any part Yeah, but your parents still hold it against me, don't they? Yes. And I've never they... tried to justify myself, have I? No. You know why? Why? Because I love you. Now, look, I'm not asking for any medals. All I want is a fair deal. I don't cause all the trouble, damn it. I get hurt when Jill reams me out for causing all the trouble in your life, or, or Bob Reed says that I'm destroying you. Well, sure, sure, I fight back. That's because I feel it. It hurts. And I feel it more and more. And that's because of you. The more I depend on you, the more it hurts. And I resent it. Like any Ryan Reed or Coleridge, I resent the pain that comes from loving and depending. I depend on you, Mary. I I depend on you not to hang up on me, not, not, not to slam doors in my face. Sure, be angry with me. I got it coming sometimes, but be angry with me, not against me. Jack, L I listen, please. please. I asked you to listen. This is the toughest thing I've ever done. So listen, huh? I know what you're thinking, and you're right. We can't go on this way. It's got to stop. But I can't bear the thought of going on without you, Mary, so... So if, uh... If this will make things right, This is what I want to do. Mary? Will you marry me? In Landview, rules were meant to be broken, and its residents will stop at nothing to get their way. Catch all the Landview shenanigans on an all-new episode of One Life to Live.